massive deforestation, humongous biodiversity loss, utter ecosystem destruction. The lumber industry is sucking life out of Earth. What's that? Oh, we are doing bamboo today. Okay, let me just... Well, bamboo is not lumber, I know that much. <laughs> Anyways, so why does everyone think that bamboo is super sustainable and why this claim isn't really true? We'll uncover that in a moment. First, we need to understand the vastness of the industry. So the bamboo market value in 2022 was 61.69 billion dollars, with China having the lion's share of 75% of all the bamboo exports. And the compounded annual growth rate of the industry is expected to be 4.5% from 2022 to 2030. The profitability and boom of bamboo can be attributed to China's widespread logging ban in its southwest, which was introduced in 1998. And from then on, Chinese government started pushing bamboo instead of lumber. That's also part of the reason why there is such a variety of bamboo products. From toothbrushes, bowls, cutlery, phone holders, paper and clothes, to furniture, scaffolding, bridges and houses. If you think about it, everything you need for life can be made out of bamboo. You can even eat it. Imagine this, eating bamboo shoots from a bamboo bowl with bamboo chopsticks on a bamboo bamboo table while sitting on a bamboo chair on a bamboo floor in a bamboo house. Now that's mind blowing. Wow. Also, bamboo is very hard and durable, even more than many types of wood. And it also grows much quicker than trees. I mean, the vertical growth can be about one meter per day, but it still takes like five to ten years for the stem to thicken. This depends on the variety you are growing, the climate you are growing it in, and the intended use. Because you don't necessarily want a 20 centimeter straw in diameter, at least I wouldn't. On top of that, bamboo can grow practically anywhere in between the poles, and it's a very hardy plant that won't just die. And now to the unsustainability. So if you've ever held a bamboo garment, I'm sure you remember how silky smooth it was. Now, that's not really how normal bamboo garment should feel though. You see, when you process it just mechanically, the final fabric has a more linen-like texture. But it's the use of various chemicals like carbon disulfide or sodium hydroxide that makes the fabric smooth. In and of itself, the use of chemicals wouldn't be such a big deal if the factories then treated the wastewater, which isn't the case. In fact, a lot of the bamboo processing factories in the developing world just dump the wastewater in their local waterways and I believe that the ecosystems don't enjoy it much. Then we have deforestation. <laughs> So bamboo, unlike trees, grows back when you cut it down, but with a slight tweak to it. It doesn't grow back from the cut down stem, as a normal blade of grass would, but rather it makes new leaves at the top node, which supply the energy for a new bamboo shoot that grows out of its roots. And as the new bamboo shoot establishes itself, the old cut down plant wilts and dies. But apparently the self-propagation isn't enough for some of the bamboo growers, so throughout southwest China, many cases of natural bamboo forests turning into intensive production monocultures have been reported. And that's good for nothing but business. Overall, bamboo is good for the environment, as it grows much faster than trees, but thanks to some practices in the industry, it isn't perfect. What do you think about bamboo? Would you want a house out of it? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.